kababayan, it's time for Talk Story Tayo, where we celebrate Filipino pride with the aloha spirit. Mabuhay! Mga kababayan, Talk Story Tayo, kasama natin si Diana Espinas. So Diana, let's talk about all the amazing things you're doing here in the community for the Filipino community in Hawaii. Okay, for sure. Um, I'm on the board of directors. I'm actually the president of the Hawaii's Plantation Village Board of Directors, which is actually a living museum located in Waipahu. And it actually celebrates the work that the Sakatas from all ethnic groups did for Hawaii. And if you ever have a chance to come down to Waipahu, we're open Monday through Saturdays from 10 to 3. We have hourly tours. And what this will do is you'll have a docent take you through the villages and we have replicas of all of the plantation ethnic houses and we have artifacts in them and it's just a great way to take a tour it may take over an hour but the kids that come in for their school tours which is a shortened version just love going to each of the houses looking at seeing at what their grandmas and grandpas might have lived through mm -hmm. if they ever lived on the plantation and hearing the stories of some of the hardships that the families went through um, just surviving during those times. Very admirable indeed. Yeah. Yes, I hope you get a chance and anybody who comes to visit Hawaii, please come to Hawaii's Plantation Village. It's so important to know our history, right. especially here in Hawaii, right. and I know you're very passionate about that. It, it, well, actually, I don't even have any plantation roots. I'm a city girl. My parents both came from the Philippines, but they met here in Hawaii, and it's only because of the work that I've been doing in the Filipino community that I started to, to start visiting Waipahu and just got immersed in that whole area. Um, just take, if, for example, you go into the Chinese house, you'll see their cookhouse, you'll see the utensils they use. We go to the Portuguese, the Puerto Rican house, you've got the Japanese house, Okinawan. We have a sample replica furo where you did community bathing in the olden days. We have an old barber shop. And of course, you have Korean house and the most poignant visit is the Filipino bachelor's quarters where you see how the men who worked on the plantations lived in bachelor's quarters and what was important to them during those times. It was either gambling or pictures of uh, movie stars on their walls or boxing or cockfighting. This reminds me so much of Lonnie Carter's Romance of Magno Rubio. Oh, that was a great, great play. Yes. I enjoyed that one. Yeah. Yes, we, we have that on Theater Thursdays on our show. And I really feel that it is through art and culture that we are able to share our stories to the next generation. That's right. That's yeah. right. And in fact, you just hit it on the head for me, too, is I didn't really try to explore my Filipino culture until I went to my first uh, showing at Kumukahua, and it was Peregrinacion with Chris Millado as a director. I, I mean, I went to every showing that I could, and I wanted everyone in the community to go if they could. Just, Isn't it so beautiful when you discover who you are? Yes, and you find out there's more yet that you have to oh. hear the stories from your parents or someone else's parents. Yes. Because I'm never going to be able to live that mm -hmm. for my own lifetime. And that's why it's so important, I think, that you talk to the older generation. Talk story tayo, di ba? Yes. Because we are from uh, a legacy of oral history. That's right. And when we stop communicating with each other, when the generations stop communicating, then we lose our identity. Right. So it's always important to go back to your roots, to understand why your parents are the way they are, why your ancestors are the way you are, so you can figure out who you are. That's right, that's yeah. right. And part of the other organization that I'm a member of is the Filipino American Historical Society, mm -hmm. where we are trying to help people in the community document online their little stories. So we've been interviewing people for a number of years now. It's just a matter of editing the stories and uh, transcribing it into print so that we can put it on the web. And students can go ahead, go ahead and look and see. These are people, everyday people, not the famous people in mm -hmm. our community. And. Um, we also learned it through FONS, which is the Filipino American National Historical Society. And I've been going to most of their conferences since 2000. And it's just an amazing experience listening to how people, Filipinos came to the United States and where they settled and what were their challenges compared to ours here in Hawaii. Mm. Thank, Thank you, you very you much, Mahalo. Okay. And there you have it, mga kababayan, ang ating talk story series. Maraming salamat po. And here we are at the beautiful Lanakai Beach uh, on Kababayan today. <laughs>